time, man, if I don't even work your social media like that. Every time somebody come, we got a fucking fuss, bro. Every time. Every fucking time. You know That's not what we're going to do. We're going to go back. I'm not doing this. commercial break, and when we get back, we're going to wrap this up. So you want to cut me off, right? Corey, you just gonna have to watch your butt, You do this shit every time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait. That shit that I do when bitch was having a seizure, and that shit ain't go right. You, don't you know what I'm about? I thought she was about to do this. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. Look, I didn't know. Yeah. I'm gonna call you back. I'm just, I'm gonna call you back. Get, get the truck, let's go. Let's go. We get this bitch, let's go. <laughs> People with the cheap shirts and shit that shit that say melanin magic and all that, Popeye's not stopping your business. You are. Okay? So to you people that's using Popeye's excuse for your business, not to get a head, shame on you. Nobody been nobody been buying a melon. Welcome to Cow's Talk. Welcome, Nova. welcome, welcome. You heard me? Yeah. Episode, what episode this is? 24. 24. I was trying to see if you remember. With Miss 25. You heard me? <laughs> she 25. She's legal to drink. LST okay. dope. You heard me? Drink. Formula trick. You know? <laughs> and I'm LST trick. That's all I'm saying. How you doing? Good, good. How are y'all? I'm Sound great. With I don't it. swell. I'm just trying to avoid this Damn. drink. <laughs> so, the so, name so. just kind of caught me. You know, trick. What? what? What, what made you call yourself? No, no, like I didn't, I didn't wanna, I got that name for like when I was a little girl. I didn't wanna say the word bitch. So I say trick sure, and say sure, it could. Sure. Uh, <laughs> all right, I could. My mom would've been like, what? But yeah, my real name, well, not my real name, but my real artist name is uh, Lil Shardy Tangent. That's what LST stands for. Mm -hmm. So my little signature every time a song starts is, and I'm LST Trick. Oh, and I just stuck with me. That's all right, so. Tell us about this Jolly Rancher. What you got okay. going on right there? You know? So Jolly Rancher, my new single, is on all streaming platforms right now. Um, we just shot the video yesterday, and we gotta finish it up this upcoming week. But um, it's dope. It's like a colorful song. It's fun. Like your nails. Yeah, like my nails. Yeah. I'm trying to get my nails a Jolly Rancher color. Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Jolly Rancher. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a fun song, a colorful song. I'm trying to get it out um here and release it y'all before the holidays. You know, Christmas, Thanksgiving. That's when stuff starts dying and down. You got a lot of music. colors during Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well then that's good. Yeah. I was thinking like, oh, Christmas is gonna be turned down. People are gonna be Hell shopping. No. And that's that's so. gonna boost the shop up. Yeah, yeah appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Give me some gifts in here. Right. <laughs> so, I know you've been rapping for for a minute now, yeah, like the that. twenty. I discovered you like the 2010, mm -hmm. so, like that. And you was dancing and stuff. You still yeah, be dancing? Yeah, no, I still be dancing. I'm actually trying to get back to my dancing because I feel like <coughs> when I became an adult, I, I just lost it. Like I lost that, um, what I'm trying to say, like that. Oh, yeah, that drive. Like when I came, a adult start working, paying bills. Oh, like, yeah. That fucking adult, right. like, you be dying, you die yeah. to be an adult. All right, right. Well, you get there. Yo, I kid you, you not. Back. Exactly. I, look, I was in a mirror in the bathroom, and the one who came across my mind, I didn't ask for this. Mm -hmm. right. I asked to grow up. Yeah. Right. But you did. But, Mom, yeah. you brought me But here. you did. Because like, when you a child, you be wanting to be like, I can't wait till I turn 18. Not realizing that life run that life when you hit that. But I also had a bill in my hand when I said, <laughs> I didn't ask for this shit. I didn't ask for all that. Oh, you know what? You open it up. That, that's just not good. Yeah. So what it influenced you to be a rapper? Um, what influenced me? I, I don't know. I think it's a guy doing talent, but I used to look up to like Lil Romeo and Lil Bow Wow. They was like 10, 12 oh, really? doing it. So I always wanted to be like a child I star. I am fucking old. <laughs> I mean, just hit me. I'm old. Why you say that? Lil Bow Wow. That's the people she looked up to. Bow Wow and Romeo. Like good as a little girl. But yeah, I'm Bow Wow. Well, well, you know if I'm old, you you had, you a fucking elder, bro. Let me tell you something. You an no. elder, hey, Harry. Don't no fucking. I'm just saying. Stop it. <laughs> Twenty, we're not gonna do this tonight. We're gonna do it today. I'm 34 years old. You ain't that far from 34. You got that. Yeah, I'm telling you. Let me tell you something. Ever since your corner store started taking EBT, you've been fucking living. You ain't even know nothing about that. You ain't even know nothing about that because I used to get gas on fucking fucking EBT. Because you're fucking emotional about it, ain't you? I am because that drink up some more, Yeah, finish drink. I'm really not a drinker like that. You would have 
influence that brought got her here drinking fucking the cold. I'm telling y'all. What you don't follow me? We don't follow we me. Don't, hey, we don't we're gonna get out of here. This ain't over with. It yeah, ain't over with. Don't watch shit. What that song was? Uh, <laughs> so like I'm saying, um, Bow Wow and Lil Romeo inspired you. Mm -hmm. What songs? Yeah. What is? Yeah. Oh, I was I was a huge Bow Wow fan. Like um, <coughs> what's my name? He had a thank you song to his fans. What else? Oh, you had an album on that thing. Uh, yeah, Jackie Yeah, Jackie yeah. 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 on that song. But I also looked into like Tupac. He was. <laughs> Uh, That's all I'm saying. Come know. back to us. Right. Uh -huh. Tupac. Tupac, my uncle used to listen to him. He used to nah, tell me like, Jesus. no, for real, because I used to try to listen to him. He used to tell me like, when you get 13, it's when you're going to be able to listen to him. I still no. suck and listen to him. I love no. Pop. Outlaw. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out what Pop, why he wouldn't let you listen to Pop. I guess the curse words and stuff. I was like, nah. I don't shit. know. Fuck your it's bitch in the kitchen, you claim. <laughs> Right, man. Trying to, to raise me in the box. Like, That's why I feel white, you fat mother. <laughs> that was true stories, though. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, but man. yeah, and I also look up to Missy Elliott. Like, oh, she dance, yeah. she grabs, she writes, she produces. I still want to get me a trash. Me too, me too. Missy Elliott. Yeah, I love Missy Elliott. I can't stand the rain, super duper fly. It's my window, yeah. Yeah, that's my trash bag. So creative. Did y'all see yeah. her VH1 performance? Yes. yes. And you know what? She still got the same energy that she had back then. Oh, I, I, think, I, I think she don't get enough credit. Yeah, she, she, she don't get enough credit. And then the same part of the industry's own. But the, you know how they say, like, what her name is, Lizzo now? Uh huh. Well, she clutched, she, you know, on and down for the big girls, but Missy was the one that held it down. down. Yes. Like, yes. She yeah. wasn't playing. Uh-huh. Did you, you ever Did too. you ever listen to like the Brat? Like, uh huh. I like the Brat. Brat I can't I ain't yeah. really listen to her albums, but I listen to her, like when she did songs with Bow Wow, Jermaine Dupree and stuff. Jermaine Dupree, yeah. Yeah, all, yeah I like all the Brat. Classic. Yeah. Classic. You can't uh, sing, huh? Mm, I could do a love song song. I know you were fan of Aaliyah. Uh -huh. Oh, I love Aaliyah. I love Aaliyah. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I love I love her style I love too. Her. The baggy pants, the long hair, I love that. Now we're not gonna start talking about R. Kelly. Uh, uh, we're doing very well. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything was going good. Yeah, everything was going good. Right. Going you know what? We started Robert and then we doing very good. Uh, no Robert. But uh, we we gonna really like seriously like um R. Kelly like I mean it's not about what the shit that he did it, you know mm -hmm. it's about his music. Do you fucking right. music? Music like, like, you know what I'm saying? He's talented. I don't know, because ain't nobody gonna stop me from listening to TP2.com. Oh, man. Or 12th place. Listen to 12th. Yeah, damn it. Those are classics, but you know they say if we listen to it, we still supporting them. Hey. Well, I will be a supporter. <laughs> as long as I'm passing my title, I can't do it. You're not about to stop me. You know, R. Kelly. Like, I don't understand it. Yeah, I heard people say that before. So, how how do your parents... They, they support your music? Well, I don't really know my father. My father was never really in my life. My mom, she supports him when she wants to support her, if I want to be honest. Like, she really wanted me to be like a nurse or some stuff. I agree. That's the that's 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 But she loves the finished product. That's yeah, yeah, she, she loves the finished product. The, she just put me through hell when I'm through going the process through the process. Of it. So that, I be feeling played. My story. <laughs> Mama. I be feeling played. Like, don't be enough. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Yeah, you you want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stop. Oh man, Fuck yeah. Fuck all that. But y'all related? Just don't no. understand. Oh, okay, just, you know what? That's 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 yeah. still my brother from another. Right, I got yeah. you for sure. Yeah. But yeah, they don't understand. I I just I guess like, they hit too much of a doll. Like I think they're too much of a doll. So when we um express our dreams to them, they like, nah, girl, it's about working. I ain't gonna lie, when you get a certain age, we start to pick up some like, damn tricks when we're like it or not. Like, <laughs> like, like, yes, that's, I feel my, I feel me that I'm becoming my mother. I'm trying to break the cycle because I'm talking to myself like, I don't like when she do this to me, so I don't want to do this to my future. It kids. will happen. Right. Right. It's gonna happen. And then you're gonna understand, you're gonna be like, damn, now I see what I'm right. talking about. Uh -huh. Like, it's gonna get real. So, do you have any future things, like people you want to work with? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely <coughs> want to work with Missy Elliott. Like, I. Would love to work with her. Who else I want to work with? Uh, Nikki, Nicki Minaj, I'm a big fan of hers. Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, Lauren Hill. I love Lauren Hill. That's one of my inspirations. Well, Lauren, if she ever, if she show up. Right. <laughs> Look, I went to a concert out here. She showed up. She was showed it up. It was horrible. The one at the um the singer. You no, know, no, not the one at the singer. It was uh the Lakefront Arena. 
I went to the one by the singer and I was like, <coughs> bro, I was so I upset because she, she had a, um, it was like two years ago, oh, yeah. and she had uh, an actual concert at, by the singer and Mary J. Blige had one. Oh, okay. I was drove because Mary J. Blige was by the lick front and I couldn't. I wanted to yeah, see both of them. Was right. But I chose Lauren Hill. <laughs> when I went up there, Lauren came up there looking like Ike Turner. <laughs> what you mean? I can't do What she had on? Was I <laughs> the big ass bow like Ike had in the shirt to the top. Uh, that's it was style. Just, it, no, it was just no, and then when she had the like, she couldn't perform because she don't have no rights to the music. Oh man! So she couldn't perform the music like. Yeah, I heard that. Like you know, it was like sounded technical. <laughs> I didn't know about yeah, what Yeah, she was playing the drums and stuff. She had like a whole band doing a whole you know, set she at the lake front. Like I told you. Look like I told you. And she, she did. She did better at the lake front. She had a pretty dress on and everything. That didn't work out. When <laughs> she came out. I wish that I would have took pictures, but it was just it, it was like a funeral. Oh man! No. I can't believe. So that. you you went out and you. Went to Cali, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm always back in front of Cali. Yeah, that's like my second home. I'm actually going there next month too in November. So, so you get down with the hype move. Yeah, I love that. I feel like my I love the I should have been from Cali because I you know the jerk movement that they had? Uh-uh. You don't remember the song You a Jerk by the New Boys? Everybody was uh, Oh, you a jerk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta uh, do uh, yeah. How you yeah. do that hard like I had I was in a dance crew called MDH. We used to do that hard. Like we was the only people really out here doing it. They had a, one or two different crews, but we was like the only people. People would tell us, "Oh, California with that shit." They be hard up mm-hmm. on that shit. Like that shit is serious. All right, it really is. Now I ain't gonna lie. One person I want to meet out there was two people. I want to meet Too Short, mm-hmm. and I want to no. meet E Forty. And I only want E Forty to come up to me and say, "Ooh." <laughs> Like, I'm going to hear that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome, cool. No, we're going to ask you your top five local in the city when we get back from commercial break. I just want to put you on blast. So we're going to take a brief intermission, and when we get back, we're going to get into this goddamn top five. Kyle's Talk Nola, episode 24, you heard me? We made it. This is 24. Fuck, 24, you know, man. We're out of here. We'll be back. And we'll be back. Like a Jolly Rancher, he's a gonna like a Jolly Rancher. He makes the lean with the Jolly Rancher. I'm too jolly like a Jolly Rancher. I got flavor like a Jolly Rancher. Color coordinated like a Jolly Rancher. I got flavor like a Jolly Rancher. Jolly, Jolly. Uh, uh. We are back, you heard me? You know? Let's get into it. Top five. Mm, local. Yes, please. Local. Mm-hmm. Local. Mm. Okay. Myself, number one. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, D1. All right. D1, wow. Number you know? two. I love you. Good guy. Okay. Who else? Who else? Who else? Dang, that's hard, man. Oh, 3D not tea. Shit, though. Yes, Lord. Soft three. Yeah, for sure. So, why would you consider those artists to be your side? Uh, well, D1, because he really got about the mud, and then he took a positive uh, approach that I feel like a lot of people don't get recognition for. Like, they, they don't like the positive stuff. And he really made it. Like, I don't know if he's still signed, but I know he was signed to RCA. And 3D not tea, because she got out the mud, too. Like, she literally oh, wanted yeah. to get what she had. Like, how long you been following 3D not tea? Oh, since the 2000s, early 2000s. Like, um, I think 2009. And she dope. Like, she writing songs and stuff. I'm writing songs, too, so that's why I kind of uh, look at her as inspiration. Right, she, you know, she's a great storyteller mm-hmm. too. For real, yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. I love her story. What's that story she had on um, YouTube? I think it was Lil' Kim. Yeah, yeah, Lil 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 Kim. yeah I love that. That's and so she had Maria? Maria, yeah. yeah. The um, videos are actually shot by her. Yeah, that's, wow. that's another yeah. thing too. Because I shoot my own videos, so I'm like, yo, she you, she's you shoot so, your own videos? Yeah, I do. Wow. I got a cannon, so I be shooting my own. Like, I'll get like my manager or somebody to hold the camera <laughs> for the yeah. scenes that I'm in, and I'll edit it. But you right. create your creative thoughts. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I went to um, NOCA when I was in high school. Yeah, I oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. those creative center of arts. Yeah. That's all right. That's. You know one thing about D1 that I did like is 
he influenced people. You know, people go, is that banana? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Really? Look, he got the love. I'm like, it's Halloween. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> D1, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, you good. But you know, he, he made a song, it's like, I think it's called Sally Me. Uh-huh. And he, I oh, made yeah. Sally Me yeah. back yeah. <laughs> So, you know everybody got the, all these fucking student loans. Right, yeah. So y'all look funny. telling you that you need to get that paid off. Right. You need to get don't just sit it off and sit with it. But uh-huh. it, it be some positive things that he be doing. It's a yeah, positive yeah. movement. Definitely. And he be like, put your threes up and all uh-huh. that. Like, yeah, I'm fucking right. with it. I'm fucking with it. Yeah, and that's real. Because you got to be relevant, especially in today's. Do you feel days. like the music today is has a bigger influence on our generation now coming up? And they just felt like... Following everything. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I just had one of my partners tell me out of the blue he wanna rap. I'm like, why? Like, this ain't your passion? He like, because I see it on Instagram. Like, like, Where like, like, are you on it? Bro. See, that's that's the thing. Everybody and their mama trying to rap. Right. And just making it okay. Yeah. For, they make it hard for the real for artists. real, exactly. You know and I'm not no hitter nuts. I suit everybody on, like, do your thing, but I'm passionate about this. So when yeah. I see people and just waking up and doing it, I'm like, okay. Okay, if you don't, if a person don't have it, you should not lie and say they have it, right? Because that's hurting them more than exactly. anything. Because somebody somewhere is going to be like, nah, I'm Right, that's it. <laughs> and as that uh-huh. told me back in the day, he was like, I don't care if they don't have it. If they if they make a fire song, it easily might be stupid as hell. But if they buy it, he can make money off that's of it. And that's pretty. what he's going with. I'm like, well. <laughs> that shit, that right. shit yeah, take off. It's true because a lot of these new artists, the songs be dumb. Like they be saying three words and they be popping. But you know what? A lot of artists, and Paul, you can see that if you don't have the look, right? Like you know when Bricky was him. If you don't have that certain look that they want, you know, Bricky. You know. As dope as fuck. Right. She's so clutch. It don't make no sense. She should have been. There's no reason why right. she should be real lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She rap better than boys, so right. I just For don't. Sure. Um, you know what though? That's why our record labels are dying. Mm-hmm. Right, everybody doing, everybody doing it independent. Everybody doing independent. independent. You, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You, exactly. you just got to know how to maneuver through the process. Definitely, and, and look at Lizzo. I mean, I feel like Lizzo opened her door. For bigger girls and stuff like that. Yeah, but mm-hmm. she, I, I, I feel like big girls should be. It, it shouldn't matter what right, the fuck you look should. like. It really shouldn't, as long as you got the talent. If you got the talent, you be able to do it. Exactly. Fuck. Right. But it's, it's so important to have that black and white, right? Right. Like yeah, get your paperwork, paper, right? For real. Get Don't just sign and right. get you a lawyer. Get you somebody with <laughs> a contract. I be studying music, like look, looking up books on music business, and oh, I'm dope. actually writing songs for artists right now. So I've been um, oh, looking doing, deep into songwriting. Yeah, I'm doing the ghostwriting, and I'm also writing for R&B artists. Oh shit! Yeah. So you say you you got a man, you have a manager, right? Uh-huh, I have a manager. So, and Matt, so you so they book your shows for you? Well, we do it together. Right now, we both hustling, so I don't put all of it on him, and he can't really do it all by himself because he works too, but he have kids. So right now, we doing it together. I book shows, he book shows. That's all right. Do you feel like um, being from New Orleans, <coughs> you have to step out of New Orleans to yeah. get somewhere? Definitely. Really I good. definitely feel like. So you don't think you could work, make make up your fan base here no, first? I mean, it's nope. possible. It's possible, but I know I get a lot of love when I perform like in Cali, Houston, mm-hmm. Atlanta. But the thing is, though, I talk to other artists that are from those places, and they tell me the same um, same stories about how we feel here. Like they feel like it's oversaturated. They feel like they gotta get out of their city to make it. So That's I'm like, simple case of right. don't fuck with their own people. Right, exactly. So like I had did a freestyle. I saw New Orleans freestyle to Casanova, so Brooklyn. That's why I was saying that freestyle. Like I was talking to myself too, like saying like, embrace the city, but don't blame the city for uh, for your downfalls. Right. You just gotta grind harder. That's all Speaking of um, artists in the city, I did not ask you uh, more than one thing. Like, what artists have you worked with that you love that really felt like they helped, you know, helped you with some positive energy? Um, for the city, question. Uh, not really. I haven't worked with a lot of artists in the city yet. Um, I did a song with Kid Kid, and mm-hmm. uh, we kind of recorded at two different studios, so I didn't really get to know him like that. But he performed with me at his um, party, and he shot the video with me, so. You know, shout out to Nut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. He, he kid, kid, now he can put a little weight on. <laughs> he be skinny, skinny, yeah. skinny, skinny. 
Definitely. So yeah, not really nothing in the city. I, I collaborated with this Atlanta artist. He was signing shop records at the time. And that was about it. Do you feel like um you wanna work with uh anybody else that's from outside the city, like any big artist that's making noise like in Cali or anybody? Oh yeah, definitely. Um well um like Karate Rich. He's from Cali, yeah, I know he was on Nipsey Hustle and um had Ryan on the song. Yeah, Nipsey Hustle, rest in peace, Nipsey. Let's have a moment of silence, cause I'm still yeah. pushed on about that. Me too, man. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, I, I still get chills. Right, me too. I have. It's really unbelievable. It right. don't seem real. Like it's just like you. I really feel like he was all too too popular. Yeah, he was. Because when when Pop died, we was me. You was young, so we didn't really get to feel how old was and stuff. Right, died a year before I was born. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. St. Paul, we old. But yeah. still, like his music lived because I wasn't born, I still know about him. Even the younger yeah, generation, they still know about, about him. Like, that's that should have there. like classes, college, college courses yeah, on class. That's dope. Like, he really made an impact. That's they what I want. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, when the fuck they going to, you know, in, uh, incorporate Nipsey into it. Right, he, definitely. This man. Did so much he in his little did. time, like he really and did. It's sad that he got killed that way. Like, come on, he I didn't even know him, but you could still feel his yeah, energy. Yeah, you could feel like when I was in Cali, I really Certain felt that man. Right. I felt that they ain't showing him so much love. All the portraits they got out, um, out there of him. And so he really is missed. If you were to leave this earth today, how would you like for people to remember you? Oh, that's a good question. Like, as a positive person, somebody that's really trying. Because I'm not just making music to make it, I'm making BS music. Where I'm really trying to have a meaning behind it, but at the same time, I don't want to be like lame or boring. Like, mm -hmm. still want the trap beats, but I want to speak a message to young girls, not just to tell them to, you know, sleep right. with this nigga to get money. Like, nah. You know, that's all like I'm a message. Saying. Like, Leave something for the behind imagination. Me. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see that you, you're not afraid to take risks when it comes to making. Certain songs, right? You know, ain't nobody, everybody ain't gonna, ain't gonna think I'm gonna make a song called Jolly Right, right exactly. And you they got some people that ain't feeling it, but it ain't fuck everybody. Yeah, for sure. You need some Jolly Rex. You should let me know. I could have bought some. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Tell, tell us about you brought some. What you got? Okay, yeah. So, this is basically my business cards. I be handing these out. Like, a lot of people don't really do CDs no more. Some people Amazing. still do, but like, I just got my. My music on the back of them in the barcode. All you gotta do is take a picture of it yeah. and all my links go pop up and all my That's social media. Dope. Oh, oh I, love I love it. Artists, this is a investment. Definitely. A great investment because we were speaking on that like, a few shows ago about the mm -hmm. barcode. Yeah, and, uh, that Nipsey um thing when he yeah. had it on his thing. You know that that's great to that's bring true. out. You know on his uh, clothing, on his clothing, you can yeah, you know, barcode. Okay, the smart, yeah, that's yeah, the smart stuff, the smart well, shit. Really this is this is, this is good networking, great right, networking too. Mm -hmm. Every show I'm like passing them out when I go to Cali, out of state, passing them out. Did you get that idea? Yeah, you have from outside. Uh, I don't know if I got it. I don't know. I think I got it from the internet. So it could have been somebody down here. But um, yeah, I just see you like want your shit though to be even to yeah, make it definitely like that. because like a lot of people I see they be throwing CDs like some of the executives mm -hmm. they don't have the, even enough time to sit there and play it. Uh, but a business card that's like more convenient for them. Would you have any um merchandise coming up? Like, yeah, um, I'll probably go um, release some um, Jolly Rancher shirt for the single, mm -hmm. but also like my own little slogan. That way I can sell that mm -hmm. year round, like with my little logo on it, LST sign, you know, like that. It should be dropping real soon. Me and my man are working being on that. That said, we're going to take another brief hey. intermission, and when we get back, we're going to take this to a close. Sure. I am so excited. Hey, I'm in my feelings too, right now. Episode 24. <laughs> God lit. damn it. What am I drinking? Oh, hey. the bananas, man. Toast to y'all. Right. Out. Mm -hmm. Take a break. Whoa. We are back. No, back, we back, are back, back for this last segment. Hey, I am Queen Solo. This is South Paul and this is Mrs. LSC. Let's try to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Recognize. So what what what's you into? What kind of movies you into? You mm. ever thought about being an actress? Yeah, I do. Cause you know when you're an artist, that opens the doors. You have more opportunities to act. You have your own clothing line. So yeah, I'm into like um, funny movies, comedy. Uh, I don't really like horror. I be having nightmares. You like a horror? Uh, I be having nightmares. But I'll, I'll do she it. I'll 
Yeah, you are like, the, the, you do you will be just fine with Chucky. Yeah, that Wi-Fi. Yeah, they will not be scary no more. If, if, if there ain't no Wi-Fi on him, it is you be coming in that wall, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> 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 I love me some goddamn. What's the scariest right? movie like as you grow grew up? Like what was scary to you? You know they redoing um, Candyman. Uh, I heard about that. Oh yeah. Well they had Bloody Mary. Bloody oh. Mary and Candyman. Like, um, what's that movie? Show well, another con. She be, she be getting like um, the devil, like the devil in her and some stuff. Carrie, I that's, think so. That's like what she be like um all the um what she call it? The, uh, that's Carrie, huh? When she be possessed. They got the Exorcist. Yeah, the Exorcist. Them type of movies. I don't like them. At oh, all. them type of movies. Y'all know. I feel like that brings spirits in your house. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> evil spirits. Yeah, watch that shit in the daytime. Right. Uh, yeah, watch that shit in the daytime. You know, before like, it's like black the, parents wouldn't even play it. Right. Right. Don't be locking no motherfucker. Right. 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 Paranormal activities. Well, like right open up the door. Four right. and five. Open. Be so yeah, they be loving open that. Open into loving that. The turn to whatever. And that's why they can't Ooh, be thinking about doing. stuff, man. Damn, sure. What was it like growing up? Like in, in your household? Like, your um, people, my household. My grandmother was a Jehovah Witness, and we, that's what wow. that's the religion I was raised in. So that's what I pretty much was raised in the Bible. Um, but my mom was step out and let me sneak and do stuff. Oh, so I would run the streets with my mom. I love to run the streets with my mom. For real. What do Jehovah Witnesses? They eat different. No, they they believe in. <laughs> Everybody asks that question. That's a good question. And they believe in God. They just don't believe in like celebrate um, Christmas. They feel like that's a pagan pagan, man, a pagan holiday. man made holiday. Uh, definitely not Halloween. Really, no holiday. They don't even no, um, believe in celebrating birthdays. That would be out like. No I think like birthday and Halloween because I love Halloween. I just so, like to, yeah, they think like a Halloween. But see, like, with you really, right? Yeah. But like Christmas, I'm gonna have to say, I, I don't really understand why we yeah. celebrate that shit. Like, yeah, definitely. Paul, you don't, you like Christmas? Huh? I don't really Christmas, like Christmas is cool, but I, I think they should be a day to give gifts. Yeah, yeah, it really. You know, I used to, when I was when I was little, yeah. You know, but, yeah, like when I was I never believed in Santa Claus. My people told me straight up that I was going and ruin it for other kids. But look, people be, like, <laughs> people be like pagan holidays, and they got certain people that. Or talk down on you because you celebrate Thanksgiving or something like uh -huh. that. Son, I just, I just want to eat. I ain't right. worried about all that shit. I ain't even worried about the history you know, of that. They didn't eat the meat. That's how I feel. Shit, man, you you know, get your on stuffing. Stop playing. <laughs> and I ain't going to say that. bell peppers. Know. That's what I come from. <laughs> but you know, like, all the, pretty much all the holidays that we've been told uh, um, <coughs> to celebrate, we shouldn't right, be celebrating. Right, definitely. Memorial Day, I don't care about this shit. I'm not even celebrating that shit. Right. Right. Run in my gumbo. Black History Month. That's see, we can eat that shit anytime. Right. You ain't got no motherfucking holiday. Run in my gumbo. It ain't gumbo season. Yeah, so quit right. playing. Stop fucking sure playing. Play. <laughs> Can you see yourself being a mentor to someone? Yeah, definitely. And uh -huh. how would you go about it? Like, if somebody approached you and say, definitely. I mean, I definitely want to be a mentor, but I also don't want to have that on me a lot. Cause you know, like when you make a mistake, it's like the biggest thing in the world. But just I, like I um I had got a group of young girls and I did like a um what was that the Drake song, the New Orleans Drake song that he had? Kiki. Kiki, yeah. Kiki. No, not Kiki, the other one with Lauryn Hill. Um. Which one was that? Um, you, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. That's a real one. Yeah, so I had did like yeah. a freestyle to that and I was like um basically like uplifting young girls, like telling them that you ain't gotta do this for that nigga. Don't let a nigga play you, talk you out of your um draws, like Basically, so you're not with the thought movement. Yeah, right? I mean, you know, like the high girl summer. I'm with the high girl summer. And but the high girl. And at it's the same time, don't the high girl winner. Right. The high girl fall and all this. Don't be shit. too thottish though. <laughs> Yeah. Like, cause maybe like, she even said like she's not no thought. Like she only had like I think she said she had two boyfriends her whole life. I think money back probably her third one. So okay, have some just, respect for yeah, yourself. Yeah, you gotta have respect for All yourself. Yeah, sure. You ain't got nothing. That's amazing. Girl, I would okay. never have thought, but I'm like, you know, that's what you see. Yeah, you know, like you young can't. Girls that. It, Cause they see it and they like, ah, that's what I want. Like, I mean, but young girls say they want to be strippers now. But the sad part is, is all the people that are putting on shoes and shaking their ass mm -hmm. when they go home, they got a man. Right. They, oh yeah. They right. want a man oh, yeah. and they only want one and they don't want but the things that exactly. they're doing to these young girls. Young girls, you know right? Saying? And that's what 
what that's what the young girls need to see. Like, but it's the same for these niggas that's all yeah, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Teaching these young boys to do all this stuff. Right, thing. and they not even living like and that. And you not living like, like that. I be on it. And for you to think you living like that. That's right. That's okay. To get a dog. We got 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 a dog. And, uh, and, 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 and to go along with this, you heard me? <laughs> Stop perpetrating the fraud it presented. And you, you got wonder what you receive when you up there the showing your body and all that, dotting around and shit. Okay. What you get? You get the duck ass award. You get the duck ass award. Nice little duck award. Stop fucking playing. Fucking colorful finger now, right? The jolly ass. Don't play i so what can they find you? Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, I'm on Instagram. Um, Instagram at LST underscore dope. YouTube, I drop a lot of videos on YouTube. And y'all don't the video will be on YouTube real soon. That's YouTube.com slash LST TV1. That's what subscribe. So please subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, you know? And um, on Spotify and all streaming platforms, it's Lil Shorty Tangent. That's what LST stands for. I'm thinking about switching it to LST because it's so convenient. People just mm -hmm. automatically type in mm -hmm. LST and it don't pop up. But right. it's Lil Shorty Tangent. That's L I L dot S H O R T Y T A N J A. You know, um, one person you didn't um, mention, and I was just like, I was cool. shocked. I probably looked at her. Erica Badu. Oh, I love Erica. Oh, yeah. I love Erica Badu. Badu. Yeah. Thank you. She a dope woman, right? That right right right. is like so real. She dope, and I love her spiritual, her spiritual connection she is too. Real I love as a that. Because like, I'm trying to get into my spiritual side. Trying to get your chakras. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely chakras, meditation. You burn sage. Helps. Yeah, definitely. My sister be burning sage. She could be on it. Everybody's sister burning sage. Bro, my sister really into the uh, spiritual thing. But you know what's important? It's important. It's very important. On a serious note, it's very important for you to have your um, mental health that it should be intact because that's oh, yeah. so you know, huge, man. We have got so to get important. that shit out in right. the minority community because right. it's not put out yeah, there like it should be. We, we take it as a joke. Speak on it. It's not and a it's joke. Too it's many real. fucking um, suicides and all yeah, this shit going on. And now we we need more than ever. Well, no, so we gotta start having awareness yes, about yes, these yes, certain yes, issues. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It's becoming an epidemic. That's why I have you ever heard of a rapper like XX Tentacion? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's yes. why I like him because he, he spoke on a lot of stuff he was going through. He's very vulnerable on his music. That's what I like when people are vulnerable. Yeah, I just don't like the shit where people be like crying and then saying the look won't kill yourself. Right. I nah, didn't know that's this, not cool, man. Like the song that cool. everybody was singing that we was just talking about, Paul. What's uh, Sean Kingston. That's how my beautiful that girl. Beautiful girl, girl right. right. I had like it never work, boy. Shut up. But you know what's so crazy? Like a like catchy hard. fucking word. Right. Nobody even realizes yeah, what the right. words is. The words are so powerful. Really, really so powerful. I noticed that when I was a kid, but you I wasn't the type serious. to like go do it. But now these kids in this generation, they're hitting the song and they'll do it, and that's like it nah, tells nah, you man. in the fucking Bible right. the power of the tongue, right. and you don't realize that shit, but it's, it's so true. true. Kind of like, like if you like keep telling yourself over right. and over again, you ain't shit. Right, you won't be. You won't be shit. That's like on five right. heartbeats, you boy, edit that. You, you ain't attractive. shit. I ain't shit. shit. And you right. wasn't shit. You see that? He yeah, wasn't right. shit. You act like you don't care for the boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people understand. Like you have on um, the power on the tongue. Like you can. Um, speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. want to be something, just say it and believe it and do it, and it'll happen. But as far as the negative stuff, uh, -uh. Don't and I don't happen. think you can sit on the sofa and say, "Bitch, you want to." Right, right. Happen. You gotta actually you gotta go out there and get it. Right, right. right. Something right. contribute to the that's thing. Dog. Like you can't just write it down and then wake up and think it's gonna be. You, know, you gotta put the and work that's what behind people it. think. Right. right, so you've been in this game how long? Uh, I've been rapping since I was four, but I took it serious like in high school, like around 10th or 11th grade. So, Which so, means so. that it's not coming oh, so. overnight. Right, definitely not. It's it's hard. And I and at first I thought that, like when I got to high school, like I was raising the box, I thought that it was just supposed to come. When I, I really r realized that it don't happen that way. It don't happen. So it took me about a mm -hmm. year or two of being on and off, procrastinating. That's and finally, dope. I'm finally where I need to be. I really, well, we really appreciate you for reaching out to yes. us. I got yes. tough time. Right? I appreciate y'all for having me. It's great y'all to us. It's, it always does our heart good with yeah, somebody to, to notice what we're trying to create thing. and everything. Yes. Thank you so much. This brings love yeah. to the city because we need I'm that. I'm going to take one of those cards. Yeah, for way, sure. I'm going to have got mine. Me, mine. You just got to scan the book over there. Y'all see me? Yeah,
Yeah, I mean, that's some exclusive shit, y'all. Y'all get on game. I got my wings. Yeah, I designed it myself. You did for real? Yeah, like, I be great. I do videos. Song right. I even used to make beats. I'm like to get back like to that. A, a trifecta, y'all. So, so how can they reach if they want to get some um, business? Business. Um, Thanks, going. Uh, you can email me at lstmusicbookings at gmail.com. <coughs> and I have another email. It's on, it's on my card, too. It's um, lst2dope at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And wait, oh, before we get out of here, I just want to say you can also contact her, our manager, Eric Johnson, at 504 657 9150. Yes. Okay. And then we, sure. we got it together on here. I'm so happy yeah, that she came, and I'm so happy. I can't wait to see what you're going to become. Yeah, and everything together. Y'all, too. You know, I wish yes. you all the best, man. This is dope. That's all I'm saying. And you know you got to come back quick. Yeah, for sure. I'm see your back. You know you got to sign the door about Make sure all your kids don't go. We'll be out. We out of here. Yay.